Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Cherish Wilsabelle, and I am with... Oh, uh, blanked. And I am coming at you guys with a video um, on an update of my hair. I just uploaded the video where I um, reviewed the wig and all that type of stuff, and now I'm going to show you guys how it looks on my head and how I installed it and everything like that. And kind of, I'm going to show you guys how I curl it because I did say that I was going to test out this flat iron and show you guys how it is. So without further ado, if you guys want to see how my hair looks, or I should say my wig looks on my head and how the curling iron works and stuff like that, please continue to watch. First things first, let me take my hair out of the bun that I have it in. It's looking crazy right now. So let me just brush it out. Here, let me, so you guys can see the top of my hair. And like I said, this hair, it was 26 inches long. It is pretty long. Um, the only thing about it is I did end up cutting, I thought I ended up cutting a lot of hair off, but I guess I didn't because it's still really, really long. So I would say it's around somewhere between 22 inches, maybe 24 inches, just because it's just so long. But yeah. Y'all, I didn't put on any makeup today, so... Yeah, hold on. I got me hurt. <sighs> you guys are probably like, I can't tell a difference, but I I know there's a difference. I don't I still don't know what type of hair this is. I wanna say from me wearing it now, it is some sort of like an Indian hair. I don't think it's Brazilian or um, anything like that because it's just not it's just not textured enough. So I'm just going to go with it being like an Indian type of hair mixture or something like that. Okay, so. How I feel about this hair. <sighs> okay, don't mind my hair's in front. So, this hair, as you can see, it is long. Comes underneath my bust and I have... Yeah, it just comes underneath my bust. And so, it's pretty long. I put in this hair myself. I braided back my hair. And then what I did is I put the wig cap on my head and I sewed around the perimeter. I left some of my baby hairs out. As you can see, like right here, I dyed my hair so you can see that it's blonde or whatever. So it kind of matches, but then it doesn't, but it doesn't really bother me because I don't know, it just doesn't bother me. I go to the gym and pull my hair up in a ponytail, so half of the time you can't even see that there's blonde right there, but anywho, so that's kind of how I secured the wig on my head. I sewed the perimeter and I have no like glue or anything like that. I've worn this hair um, for a week and then I took it out and then I, um, wash my own hair and stuff like that and then I put it back in so this is the second week of me having this hair on my head and so far I've washed this hair this hair twice and it's held up very 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 well every single time when I put it under water it's like smooth like butter and I use um I'll you take this thing I use, I believe I showed you guys these, this duo like a long time ago, but I really, really like this set. It is the Argan Oil Morocco Shampoo and Conditioner, and this is the Repair and Conditioner and the Korean Shampoo. I use both of these two products on this hair, and it takes it very, very well. Once again, this is virgin hair, so this hair has not been processed. It has not been dyed. It hasn't been done anything to it. It naturally came with the body wave, and you can a slight wave is in the hair, but mostly it's straight. So I want to say that like when they gave me the hair, they might have styled it with like a tool and set it, but 
naturally when I wash and everything like that it has a very slight slight wave to it so that's something to look forward to but the hair is still like very soft to comb through you saw me brushing it with the brush like it's very easy to just go through with the hair I don't know if I mentioned before but this is love me hair so check out love me hair company if you want to see this hair and other items once again I will link this down below so if you want this wig then you can purchase it or if you want um, something that's within the hair companies like products and stuff like that then you can go to their site and I'll link just their site below and stuff like that but so far this hair is holding up really really well I'm really glad I purchased it because I feel like it is worth the money that I um, paid for I paid for it with my own money I didn't get it sent to me to review or anything like that I did it myself so um this hair holds a curl pretty well I haven't really curled this hair that often I have curled it I think once but it was very a light curling around and it did pretty well so moving on to this flat iron that came with the hair like I said before I believe you have to have paid $250 um in order to get this flat iron for free so my purchase was more than 250 i believe um last you know what i'm just going to link or put right here how much it was because yeah i can't remember the price that i paid exactly for this hair but it was more than 250 so i got this flat iron for free and i told you guys i was going to try it out so that's what i'm going to do so let me plug it up i'm going to leave it at 230 degrees celsius I can already feel that it's starting to get heat to it, so that's a pretty good sign. I won't have to wait forever to, you know, use the flat iron. How do I want to do this? So I'm just going to take this hair like this, and I guess I'm just going to start, I'm going to start on the bottom row, and I'm just going to start curling. I'm going to start curling. Sorry, I keep looking up at the viewfinder that I have just so I can see my hair. I might be using it to stop. I have a mirror right here, but that's why I'm looking up. Sorry, guys. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, this is raring to go. And I do believe that you see how on this side it is like steel plated or whatever plated to you. I believe this is starting to get hot too. So. Be careful when you're using this. I'll try to be careful myself, but like you, if you touch this, it is starting to get hot. So you want to make sure that you're not going to burn yourself. Oh, I forgot that this was hot already. There we go. There we go. That's a pretty curl. Let's do this one. We're just gonna take our time to curl this whole head. Let's see how this one turns out. that as well okay so this flat iron does pretty good at curling the only con is that it's super slippery it, the hair is smooth and then also this go like the hair goes through this really smooth so you really kind of have to like take your time to curl around it all right so what I'm gonna do is I'll probably speed this up and um, I'll just share with you guys the final results of it all Okay, I am all done. So, this is the final look. Let's see. So, I think that it curled pretty good. These are all the curls that I was able to put in the hair. 
So, this flat iron, how do I feel about it? Okay, so this obviously curls really good, at least this type of hair. I tried it on my own hair too, and I think it curled pretty well, so I liked that. Um, the only thing, the only thing I do not like about this flat iron is that it has, um, well, it's like a pro and con because obviously with it being heated on both sides of the, um, the thing, it, you know, it curls the hair really good, I, I, I would assume. But at the same time, you have to be very careful because there's several times I burnt on the tip of my fingers trying to curl and hold on to the edges. So I don't really know how I feel about it. I really like the flat iron and I think it's really good and I crazy that they give it to you for free for you know uh, after a purchase certain amount but it's just really unpractical what I would suggest though and I think that what I'll do next time is I have like you know gloves that I can put on so that it'll not burn my hands as much so the next time I use a spot on I think that's what I'll do but these curls they're so cute so that's pretty much the um, review of this hair. I highly recommend it. Love Me Hair Company. I think they do a really good job with the quality of hair that they're giving out to, you know, the public. I think that if you're looking for something that's easy to manage and that is not like a huge hassle, then I would try it out. Um, like I said, I just kind of went on a whim and saw them on Instagram. I decided to give them a go, so that's what I did. If you guys want any more information, like I said, there'll be links in my description box below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions about this hair or the company or anything like that, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them for you. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please give it a big like button and don't forget to, forget to subscribe so you can join in the family and support me. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Sun is out and feeling okay Hope you have a really good day 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 Feeling okay Feeling okay